Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen and today I'm going to be sharing with you every single pattern that I bought throughout the month of March and April through simplicity.com. So this is a big five pattern haul that I'm going to be sharing with you guys and we'll just call it a spring big five pattern haul because it's mostly spring patterns. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I had to put these in a box because it's a lot. I will say if any of these appear to overlap in my recent videos, it's because one, I may have talked about them as in the 25 patterns to try for spring, or I may have talked about them in my April sewing plans video. But either way, there are some patterns in this stack that you guys probably haven't seen me talk about yet. So let's get into it. All right, so I did get in the mail Nomi Pattern 2072. This is by Aronica B. Cole. It is B. Cole, yeah. <laughs> it is by Aronica B. Cole. And I love this because it's got the dress version with the flounce on the bottom, or you could do the wide leg pants version. And when I talked about this pattern in my April sewing plans, I did discuss having to figure out between like four different patterns what I wanted to do. Um, and I'm narrowing it down a little a little bit more. But I did talk about this deep V, which I love by the way, but for me personally, because I have a larger bust, I do want to actually put a modesty piece here. But I love the deep V. I love how in the back there's like a little tie um, for the back part. Um, there's also, it looks like a little bit of ruching on the shoulders and then again, that flounce on the bottom. So all in all, this is a really, really great pattern. And if I don't get to it for this month, um, then there's always other warmer months that I can get to it in because this, this is something that can carry me all the way through summer. Okay. Simplicity 9536. Um, this is actually the pattern that I am looking to use for my Atlanta Frocktails look. Um, so this has got a sweetheart neckline. This is a 1950s vintage pattern. It does have those um, pockets and then it's also got a bolero jacket. The plan for me is I won't be using the pockets or the bolero jacket, but I love this silhouette. And it says also that it's easy to sew. So that's really exciting because... As you may or may not know, vintage patterns really do intimidate me sometimes, even though I'm currently working on one now. Um, but I do like this. Again, I do like the silhouette and I think that it's just a classic style. So I did get Simplicity 9929 in the mail. I feel like this pattern took the longest to get in. But then when I went to like go check on it, I did see that it was sold out. So it might have been like a an issue where they had to like restock it which is fine or whatever but it's finally here in my possession so <laughs> i'm very 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 excited about this i love the cow neck i feel like cow necks look really great on me um so i'm really excited about that with the pants i personally would either take it all the way to the floor or make them shorter um i am 5'1 so sometimes the crop look can can tend to look awkward on me sometimes i can pull it off sometimes i can't but it's like 80% of the time I can't pull it off. Um, but for me, this would either be shorts or full length pants. But either way, great pattern. And I've already been seeing some inspo on the internet for it. So yeah. Here's another vintage pattern, Simplicity 9913. And I just love that halter. This is also a 1950s vintage. I love this halter. Um neckline with the collar and the darts because you know the darts are going to give you some shape as well and kind of just give you like that really nice tailored look this one also has big pockets if i'm being perfectly honest i'm not a fan of how these pockets look but also i don't know if if if, if i was to sew this if i would even notice the pockets like that so We'll see. This one is also labeled easy to sew, so that's encouraging as well. So very excited. I got McCall's 8450. This is definitely like a prom look. And okay, so I'm really glad I bought this because let me tell you guys, they at work at David's Bridal, they have a wedding dress with like 
basically the same neckline and it does go all the way to the floor but the train is detachable and I was like and there's a pattern for that now no one is commissioning me to make a wedding dress right now but I really do like this concept and the one at work that I saw is actually lined so it gave it like a really nice weight and shape to it um this one it doesn't look like it's lined on the cover but i could be wrong but i love this and it comes in like a skirt version and a pants version and i don't see why you can't take the skirt to the floor to be honest with you so i also got nomi pattern 2013 um i don't know why this wasn't in my collection i was actually looking for it one day and i was like i don't have that pattern so i did go ahead and add this pattern to my cart and um it seemed like the internet knew that i did that because not long after i did that i saw a whole bunch of pinterest um inspiration surrounding this silhouette with like the crop um sweater knit and or it's not sweater knit but the crop knit with like the um with the pencil skirt but all in all this is really cute um i will say that joe and i have booked a cruise for next year and if i don't get to this this summer this is like at the top of my list for our cruise next year just saying okay so i did get mccall's 8360 now i picked this one up after seeing some inspiration on the internet also i thought this was actually going to be more complicated than it was and then i saw that there's like faux ruching on the back and that's what really drew me in so i think this is really great and also um cowboy carter inspiration outfit yes immediately yes okay so i did get mccall's 7719 now i know this seems a little out of left field but I was actually, I picked this up when I was sourcing dresses for um, the award ceremony that Joe and I were going to. So this was something that I was like, oh, like this looks like this could be really cute together. However, that's not the only fancy event that we have this spring and summer. We've got a wedding. We've got my birthday, his birthday, our anniversary. So there's a lot of things to celebrate in the summertime for us anyway. So I don't see this pattern necessarily going to waste. I did also get McCall's 8359 by Brandy Joan. This is kind of like the milkmaid dress that was really just all over the place uh, with cottage core um, and through Pinterest boards and everything. And I actually made the um, dream frock by Lydia Naomi. I made that a few years ago. I wasn't too happy with the bodice, but I've always loved the silhouette. And so I want to give it another try, but I want to try this pattern. Um, she's got a slit. It looks like you can extend the sleeves out. So that's really cool because then if you don't get to it in the summer, you can always get to it in the fall. So a lot of great options with this pattern. Okay, so this is McCall's 8482. And this just screams resort. Um, I love this up and down. Like... Even the asymmetrical skirt ruffles, the the elastic on the shirt. This is this is actually I don't like asymmetrical skirt uh, skirt ruffles, and I don't like elastic on on uh, shirts. But I love this pattern. This is like everything that I wouldn't put in a pattern, but I love it, and um, I want to try it. So hopefully I get to this this summer and I can you know be fabulous, just as fabulous as this lady. So I also got another vintage pattern. This is Simplicity 9816. Also another easy to sew pattern. I was really drawn to this skirt with the, um, I don't know what you would call these. They're just calling it seam binding on the back, I think. Um, I was really drawn to these. It's definitely like very boho. I don't think I would necessarily put this top with this skirt together in my mind's eye just because for me it's too much blousiness on top of blousiness but i think this with like a really nice fitted shirt um possibly in a different color maybe even an overlay type would be really really cute and i don't think that this is necessarily segmented to just spring 
Okay, you guys. So remember how I said earlier, I was like, oh, I thought I had this pattern and I didn't. And then I ended up buying it. So I didn't think I had this one and I found it later and I ended up buying it. So um, <laughs> this is Nomi 2039. Again, I was trying to source patterns for the award ceremony and I, I just got carried away and I was just buying up everything. But I literally didn't think I had this one in my stash. I do, so now I have two copies. It's okay, it's cute. All right, so I did get Nomi Pattern 2073 by Alicia Grace. I love this pattern so much, so, so much. So it's got like a little bralette and then it's got a skirt. Um, she has mentioned in uh, like her Instagram post that the skirt um, can actually be worn lower. But for me personally, I actually like that it's up high on her waist. I, as a high-waisted individual myself, don't mind this. And the skirt would probably end up there anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> but I do like that it's high-waisted because it almost looks like it's a one-piece dress. And that's just a peekaboo. But either way, I think this is cute. I am actually really drawn to this um, ruffle detail right here. I think that that would be really cute to just kind of give me some volume in the bottom as well and whatnot and really just balance out my bust line. So there it is. And this one does have a zipper in the back. I am not 100% sure if I would keep the zipper in the back. I see myself either doing like a lace up or even um, the bra snaps. I think that'll that might be one of those two. So I also got Nomi 2076 by Ella. So fun fact about this pattern, I did see this in production back in October when I went to the Simplicity offices for work. And so I saw the muslin for this. I thought it was cute then. Couldn't wait to get the pattern right now. So I did go ahead and get that. Um, she has also mentioned in her post that her dress is actually reversible, which I think is really cool because one side is like a, a little scoop neck and then the other side is a v-neck. Me personally, I would probably wear this more as a v-neck since that's more flattering for me. But again, we're looking at an asymmetrical, um, uh, what is it called? Asymmetrical ruffle, which seems to be a trend for spring. So go ahead and take a look at that line illustration there. And to be honest with you, the short one is really cute. The long one is nice, but the short one is kind of giving me like spring summer vibes. Hard. I like this. Okay. Nomi Pattern 2078. There is just something about a sailor look that I love for spring. And I'm leaning more towards view A with the sailor tie and she's got the stripes. It's so adorable. And this pattern is, there's not a lot of pieces. I can tell by how thick it is. So I think it's just, yeah, it's just the shirt views. So view A, view B, it seems like it's pretty easy as well. So very exciting. Simplicity 9917. This is Mimi G's new pattern. This has got a strapless neckline. You can add straps to it. And then it's also got, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll flip it over. It's got a optional tie as well. Um, not a tie, excuse me, an optional belt. Um, so you can like buy a kit and make the cloth belt. Um, I'm almost 100% positive that that's in her sewing tutorial for this. But if you are having trouble finding that kit, you can get it at like Joann's. I've seen it on Amazon before. And I think I have a kit here, as a matter of fact, because they're just so cute. I have never actually done one, but it's piqued my interest. And I just love the cloth belt look. It just really elevates, elevates the dress. So this is on the short list for a wedding guest dress, possibly. So yeah. Okay, Simplicity 9851. I have actually been like trying to buy this pattern since last year. Uh, <laughs> and I think the last time I was trying to get it, they were out of my envelope size. So I waited and then I forgot about it and then I waited again and now I finally have it. So I love the actual version that the model is wearing. 
And I've been thinking like, what would that look like if it was like, if you extended the hemline to a mini dress, like just a thought, like I think that's actually really cute. But either way, I think any of the views actually work out really well. And um, yeah, I love me a one shoulder moment, so. <laughs> All right, the next one I got was McCall's 7683. I was mostly drawn to this one. I really like that neckline, the V-neck, um, and then it's fitted and then it's got the slit. Again, just trying to jog some idea of what I wanted to wear for the award ceremony or, you know, like I said, any of the number of other really fancy events that we have coming up for the summer. So I'm just kind of holding on to this for a special occasion, which um, I think that this is some really good options here. Like I said, I really like this one and I really like this one. Not quite drawn to that one, but maybe it's just the fabric that's throwing me off. I'm not sure. All right, you guys, I want to thank you so much for dropping by. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And you can follow me at Raven Maureen on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.